Okay, hey guys, this is JD Share, and I'm with Man Man here in Dubai at OUG tournament. Hello. Hey Man Man, how are you? Hi, I'm good, and you? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. Cool. So uh, I want to show you to like Korean fans or Tekken fans really? because you are really famous in Western. Yeah, yeah but like yeah. Asian people maybe not know you. So mm? so uh, so Man Man is really famous for a like, combo video. Yeah, I right. think mostly combo videos. So can yeah. you introduce yourself and how do you start? How did you start combo in YouTube? Uh, I I've played Tekken since Tekken One. Mm -hmm. uh, really loved it ever since. And then it was by accident. I was on YouTube when YouTube was new mm -hmm. uh, in two thousand and five, I think. And I saw um, I I saw some Tekken combo videos. I think it was a Castle. I don't know if you know him. Amer uh -huh, uh -huh. American player. He yeah, made Tekken Saibatsu. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Castle. Yeah, yeah. He made combo videos and mm -hmm. he made Mishima combo videos. And when I saw them, I really liked Kazuya. So I was like, oh, I want to do that. I thought, mm -hmm. I thought he was so cool and I wanted to do, do what he did. Yeah. And I wanted people to tell me how awesome I am. So, so it was it was an ego thing. It was an ego thing. Yeah. Uh, it, so it, you are already like good at good at like making combo and electric. At that time. Yeah. At uh, that time. Um, so you wanted to show them. No, I was <laughs> I was pretty bad, but okay. but I started practicing a lot mm -hmm. and doing electrics and stuff. Uh, and when I started to get really good at it, uh, I watched uh, KYSG. Uh, they are famous, uh, yeah, they are famous uh, too. Uh, really good and. Yeah. 538. Mm -hmm. uh, really good uh, Mishima combos. And I want I knew they were using tool assisted, mm -hmm. programmable sticks. So I wanted to be able to do what they did, but with yeah. my hands. Uh -huh. So eventually I did their things and then I started to expand and do more. Um, but uh, eventually I got what I wanted, you know. I, I had people telling me, oh, you're the best, you're doing really good <laughs> combos. And I felt good and. Uh, so, yeah. But. Uh, as, uh, but that was when I was 22, 20, 23. When I got older, I, wow. I matured a bit. And uh, to me, the last few years, uh, the last five years, my YouTube channel is about making more people play Tekken, yeah, having yeah, more yeah, yeah. people see why Tekken is good, you know, yeah, explain yeah, you know, what yeah. is Tekken. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when people watch Street Fighter, they understand very fast, you know? Yeah, because Street Fighter is kind of easy to see, yeah. easy to understand. Oh, okay, Hadouken, you can jump, jump over it. Again. Exactly. Oh, he jumped Shuryuken. Mm -hmm. Everyone understands this, yeah, but when you watch sure. Tekken, you know? When uh, you and I played today, mm -hmm. and uh, I was stupid, hey, actually, forward, forward, two, and you just, you dash towards me, and then sidestep left electric, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. People don't really understand what you're doing there. They can understand a sidestep, but when you dash, step, mm, electric... Because like, kind of like, more movement game, so 3D. Very advanced movement, and yeah. it's so... F the cancelling of your movement is so fast. People don't see that. Yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Um, so I would say at the start it was all about doing combo videos. Yeah. And, uh, I wanted an ego boost. I wanted to be the best at combos, but uh, it, n right now I, I really like to make combos. Mm -hmm. I find yeah. it so interesting to see uh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, new too. changes, you know, to Mishima's like a uh, new move to Ehachi. What can we do new? You even already made like an FR combo. Yeah, 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 oh, I did. Wow. yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You didn't even get a chance to play. No? Uh, yeah, I went to Japan and yeah. I went with my girlfriend and I made a deal with her because. She didn't want me to play Tekken all the time, and I didn't. She, want... she did one. No, she did not want. She did not. No, yeah, no. obviously not. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I wanted to show her Japan. I don't know if you've been to Japan. I've been to Japan like what time? Five times, six times. In Tokyo, Tokyo, and Osaka once. Osaka. Yeah. Now you be. I want to go to Osaka. But Osaka. It's quite far with train. From yeah, quite far. Two, from, three hours. Yeah, from, from Tokyo. Tokyo. Did you like Osaka? Yeah, I like Osaka. A little bit different than Tokyo. Yeah, it's a beautiful nature, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, my girlfriend really likes that. She comes from the countryside. Yeah. I born in city. She's farmer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, she she really likes nature. So I wanted to see that with her, but it, it it was too far. But yeah, we went to Japan, and I spent one hour per for ten days. I I played mm -hmm. FR. Yeah. 
the rest of so the day she, I was she, with her. So she was like watching you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah like just like faster like like stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. So I really tried to research. Uh, I played Goki for Pro, uh, you play 10 Goki. minutes. 10, 10 minutes, minutes. Okay. 10 minutes. The rest of the time, Kazia, Devil Jin, Did you trust your Um Not really, but my I have two brothers. Mm -hmm. And one of them, he loves street fighting. Yeah, okay. And he's uh, he's very he's a very smart guy, mm -hmm. very intelligent. Yeah. Um, he loves street fighter. Oh, but he plays street fighter. Yeah, but okay. he has also played Tekken since Tekken ah, Tekken I one. Think, I know him. You Bale, you played him. Yeah, I played him. Yeah. He did in, snake yeah, and he you played, scream. Uh, in, oh. in London, Lions Den. Yeah, I played that. Okay. I was very happy to play you. Yeah. Um, but uh, he, he stopped playing when Tekken Tag Tournament 2 was released because uh, he played the game two times and then he said okay so Adrian when you launch me mm -hmm. you get a juggle then tag assault and you can juggle me some more take me to the wall wall combo and after that I have to try to get up yeah. while guessing what you're doing and I can tag crash but that's very easy to counter Mm -hmm. yeah. So he just felt like uh, too much damage in the That's game. True. Uh, yeah, yeah, so he stopped playing Tekken, but he really looks forward to Tekken 7. Uh, and so do I. But yeah, I wanted to go to Japan and make combo videos because uh, I just find it so cool. To so, yeah, speaking of Japan, I want to ask you that, you know, I, I'm like. I'm from Korea. I, I, I have arcade scene. I've been in Japan a lot of times. Yeah. But uh, compared to me, you don't have arcade scene. So did you notice something interesting in Japan compared to like your console scene? Uh, oh yeah, you mean like uh, the whole arcades? Yeah, whole arcade. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you pro I don't know if you know this, but like in in most of Europe, there are no arcades. Yeah. At all. Yeah. I all mean, all if you. This, this I know you've been to Sweden, but uh, I don't know, you, you stayed with like Yadi perhaps when you went to Sweden? Uh, when I was in Sweden, I was at uh, Yadis, Eddie Max. Eddie Max. Eddie Max, you know Eddie Max. David. 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 Uh, I should know. The Maximilian? No? He, he, he lived in Seoul in, in Korea for two years. Oh, Maximilian, oh, David. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. I don't know if I showed you around, but there's nothing close to an arcade. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. arcade machines. Mm -hmm. And that's the case for most of Europe, so uh, a dream of mine has always been to go to Japan. Yeah. Like, when, uh, like, game, the new Tekken games, we never get to try them. Yeah, so, sure. I want, a friend of mine said, let's travel somewhere, and I was like, where do I want to go? Okay, I'd like to go to Japan because I love... Uh, the idea of a culture, and I haven't oh. played Tekken 7, so it's like a double bonus. <laughs> oh, so you like Japanese culture and you like Yeah, Japan. yeah a lot. Uh, so I went there and uh, I thought it was amazing, you know. I went into, uh, we lived in uh, Shibuya. Oh, and Shibuya? I, yeah, uh -huh. and I went into Taito Station, Shibuya. Ah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. woo, you know, a lot of smoke. Yeah, I don't yeah. smoke cigarettes. <laughs> oh, I almost yeah. died. But uh, it was uh, it was amazing to see you know you go in and there are like hundreds of arcade machines mm -hmm. and yeah. people there would play for hours and it seemed like they really liked the game. They and play twenty four hours. They can they can yeah they can come whenever they want and they play. Yeah, exactly, and yeah. they seem to have a strong community and of course Namco Sugamo yeah. uh, really cool. So yeah. Uh, to me it was amazing and I, I get sad because I wish we had that in Sweden but mm -hmm. we don't so I guess uh, for me to experience that it's, it's going to have to be me traveling to Korea or Japan like once per year just so I can <laughs> see that for cool. a week cool. because uh, I, I find it to be very... It, I, I really like it. it. It feels like it's a part of my life in some way, but yeah. it's so far away. <laughs> you know, um, and how do you like Japanese culture? Uh, I, how I come? I love uh, Japanese people. Do you uh, like I, I think Koreans are probably the same way, but they're very, very humble. Uh, Japanese are more humble than Korean. You think so? Yeah, I think so. That's what I noticed in Japan. Oh. And there is this... Uh, I noticed immediately. I've been to Tokyo two times, but they have this uh, collective mindset like that they they don't do things that they feel trespass on other people mm -hmm. it's like when you're on the subway yeah. uh, they, 
it's not even a silent rule uh, or not spoken rule that you're not supposed to be loud on the subway, but they actually uh. tell you on the speaker, like, please try to respect the other passengers, <laughs> don't speak loudly. Wow. And, and everyone is very silent. Oh, you feel that way? Okay. No, no, I, I mean, of course in Sweden it's the opposite, people are very loud and stuff, and that's okay as well, it's just that I guess I'm a bit uh, conservative. I, I like that uh, people f think, you know, one step further and think yeah, like, yeah. Uh, what about the other people here? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And Japan feels very much that way. And uh, all the ser service personnel, ah, when you go into a really store, really they're like, yeah, oh, they're kind of, oh, konnichiwa. konnichiwa. Uh, I'm like, yeah, they're yeah. so friendly. They're so friendly, they're so kind. Yeah, in Sweden, if you order a burger at McDonald's, fuck you. <laughs> everything, I'm not kidding. It's like, get out of here, you know. And, and then you go to Japan and everywhere, yeah, people are so yeah. kind and in the... Um, yeah, more than Korea. You think uh, it's more than Korea? Yeah, it's more than Korea in the Japanese culture. They are, they are like, sometimes they are, they are computer. <laughs> Oh, you think it's too much? Uh, so, yeah, to be honest, I, somehow I think it's too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I've heard people say that. I mean, my girlfriend was a bit like, uh, oh, d don't we feel a bit like a robot, you know? Do they really mean it? Or is it just... Uh... They're just, you know, they're just... I heard that Japanese, Japanese people, they learn, you know, how to think about the others first than themselves. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's how they live. Yeah, but I, I think that's a good idea, you know, yeah, to yeah, put yeah. others ahead of yourself, but not, not, you shouldn't forget about yourself, you yeah, know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, but uh, I, I just feel like Japanese people are very kind. <laughs> yeah, I agree Very with you. kind. Uh, and I'm sure Koreans are very kind. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, you and infiltration are very kind, okay, so. thank you. So, uh, so just to talk about the uh, arcade scene. Yeah. But, but you know, the always Namco release comes a little later than yeah, much okay. later. So yeah. I somehow I heard I heard I hear the people just complain about this because Asian people get the game really fast and they practice, they, they get to play. Yeah. And yeah. then they win, you know, major tournament in this tournament. So Yeah, I mean of of course that's always going to be a problem for like uh, pro now you guys are the pros. I mean we we have really good players in Europe, America, South America, but uh, there's more to it than you guys just getting the game ahead of us. You, you guys have a mentality we don't have. You are the best, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, when, when it comes to that uh, arcade uh, to console. console, the time we have here, it's like one or two years. Yeah, the Tekken 7 is two years, I think. Wow. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not fun. I love Tekken, so I, I'm just frustrated knowing that you guys are playing it, but in the end, I mean, I know that they make a lot of money from the arcades. Mm -hmm. yeah, and and yeah, if they, they would release arcade and console one month later, they wouldn't get money from arcades. Uh, yeah, but uh, thinking about such like Street Fighter, for example, they only released, you know, with a console, Street Fighter Five. They didn't release arcade. Oh, but uh, Street Fighter has that ever been like a big arcade game? I know Tekken is in really Japan. In Japan, really big. Oh, it is. It has been really big. Yeah. It's really big in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In Japan. Whoa! I I didn't know that. I thought that they released on console fast because arcade was very small. That's not true. It was really you know popular in in Japan. Even so, I heard that some people play Street Fighter Four. <laughs> oh, Japan. okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that argument doesn't work, obviously. But I still feel like. It, it could be important for, I, it's probably true that it's important for them to, to test the game yeah, sure. beta with the best players and you guys try to find like what works, what doesn't work yeah. and then they balance the game and then they release a very complete product. Yeah. Because I know that Street Fighter usually when it's released it's, it's, not, it's more of a half game. <laughs> Whereas Tekken, like every release, Tekken 6, very complete package. <laughs> TTT2, complete. Okay, not the best story mode, but okay. I like that sort of stuff, story oh, mode. You know? cool. But Tekken cool. 7, it looks like it's going to be a very good game. Yeah. But uh, of, of course, there are lots of people in uh, Europe, you know, very sad. Oh, I haven't tried Tekken <laughs> 7, yeah. when is it coming? 
never. <laughs> and then the people we met today, you know, and uh, here in Dubai, yeah. from, from the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, they say, oh, I've never tried Tekken 7. And they saw the first trailer in 2014. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard, you know, I, I remember when I was, uh, now I have, I've, I've been very lucky to be able you to go to Japan and play Tekken 7, uh -huh. but I remember when I was waiting for Tekken 6, Yeah. and I remember I was studying in school and I would have on my computer YouTube and every day I would look at Tekken 6 matches. Wow. For two years, and I was like, two years. Yeah, for two years I yeah. watched on YouTube Tekken 6. And then I got the game, and the game didn't feel new, ah, because yeah, I had watched course. it on YouTube yeah. for so much. Yeah, sure. So that, that's sad, because a new Tekken game, you should feel like, whoa, I'm... You should feel like fresh and Exactly. New. I will discover this game with you guys, mm -hmm. but you guys have already, like, <laughs> oh, I found everything, and <laughs> we can, <laughs> you have written, like, all the staple combos, and, uh, yeah. but, um, it's hard, but I guess the explanation is that they get a lot of money from the arcades. I don't know if it's true because Street Fighter obviously maybe gets some question from the Capcom, yeah. maybe. And then of course they want you guys to beta test the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's hard. Uh, a lot of people haven't tried Tekken Seven yet, and uh, it's very, very, very frustrating. Yeah. So when do, when do, uh, when you play. Tekken 7, first time? How, yeah. how did you feel? Uh, I played Tekken 7, Vanilla, this... Uh... Did you play Vanilla and F1? Yeah. Both? Yeah, yeah. I both? Went, yeah. We played both. Okay. Uh, I went to... I played F4 in Japan in August. Yeah. And this January, at the start of the year, I was in Japan and I played Tekken 7 Vanilla. And made one combo video. <laughs> Mishima combo video. Um, yeah, but I saw that. Oh, you really liked it. Oh, good. <laughs> but uh, I, 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 I really liked Vanilla. I, I didn't think the graphics were that good. Vanilla. Yeah, FR okay. looks much better. Yeah, well, FR is better. Better. Yeah, uh, but but uh, Vanilla was good. Um, I, I thought I liked uh, Kazuya's uh, new outfit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah, really cool. cool. Uh, but uh, it didn't feel like a finished uh, game. When it came to the other characters, had yeah. the same outfit, yeah, some outfit. Uh, graphics not very good, and uh, I, Kazuya didn't have that ma many new moves. I had fun in Labrador, he didn't have any new move, maybe. Yeah. Only back four. Yeah, back four. That would be back, back four. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so I really liked it uh, because I'm I'm a bit tired of. Uh, TTT2. Mm -hmm. But Tekken 7, I felt vanilla like, oh, good, but uh, we need more. And then when I saw play Tekken 7 FR, I was like, oh, this is going to be, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like uh, infiltration. <laughs> 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 it's, I, I feel like, um, it's like I, I interviewed you at um, Head Stomper in Copenhagen, Denmark. Yeah. And we talked about, you said that Tekken uh, 6, for example, had double the amount of players on Tekken Net oh, than yeah. TTT2. Yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. TTT2 not that popular. Yeah, kind of, I think so. Yeah, so, so I think that Tekken 7 hopefully will be the game that once Ooh, goes up. So. Yeah. yeah, so that casual people come and play, you know. Uh, you, of course you know this, you've been to EVO, I haven't been to EVO. But uh, Street Fighter, it's like thousands of people yeah. come to play. This year, maybe over 3,000 people joined. And it's incredible. In Evo, wow. Yeah, and only for one game. Exactly, and yeah. you, you saw the, you yeah. the event yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, you were there, yeah, okay. Um, so I, I think Tekken can have that, especially with FR, because the thing Street Fighter always had over Tekken that made people like it was that. Like in Dragon Ball, when Ryu does an attack, he screams, Oh, you know, like a retard. Mm -hmm. you know, you can, you know. yeah. An idiot does that. You know? <laughs> a martial artist doesn't tell you what he's going to do. <laughs> but, uh, so it, it's, like, it's like Dragon Ball and they have super combos with a nice camera, you know, go around and yeah. oh, big effects. It's like a Hollywood movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Harada realized that we need nice graphics, cool effects, yeah. and we need a super combo. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why he put Rage Drive. Yeah, 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 so Rage Drive, Rage Drive. I, th I think that's going to do a lot. Mm -hmm. um, 
I just feel like the, the rage art so far. Have you seen Miguel reveal trailer? Yeah, I, I saw that, but I don't remember his rage art. You remember the rage art? No, I don't remember. He, uh, he hits uh, the opponent, the opponent goes down, yeah. and then camera comes up to him, uh -huh. and he says, oh, I'm going to kill you now. Oh, well, you know, and yeah, then he punch, yeah, punch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's yeah, very yeah. dramatic. Yeah, it is. You know, uh, and uh, Nina, very good, goes up, spins. Uh, Dragonov, really good. Like, goes up slowly and then... Yeah, <laughs> yeah very cool. My favorite. Yeah, my favorite also. I, f I feel like more rage arts should be that way. Oh. More dramatic instead of 10 hit combo, you know. Uh, it's like Warren, you know. Well, you combo. Normal moves, yeah, you know. Kick, 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 kick. And then back, unblockable. And I'm yeah. like, ah. <laughs> and Kazuya, you know. Durya, and then laser. I'm like, you can do so much more, you yes. know. Yeah. It's so easy to animate, like electric. They fly down, oh. they get up, and he goes Xamaka and he laser, you know? Yeah, yeah, so you think, you think it's so typical. Yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like they have such good characters in Tekken. A lot of people pick up Tekken because of yeah. Jin is cool, Kazuya is cool, Paul are cool, no pain, no gain, you know? Yeah. Cool characters, so in the rage art, have them say something. Like, why does Paul only do <laughs> burning hammer and then boom, I mean... He has really good win poses, yeah. just so put something so in there. You think, you know, rage R, rage drive, you know, can attract more people? Exactly, more, when you have good personalities, give these moves more yes. personality. I, I agree with you. Yeah, I just yeah. feel like people really like that stuff. Yeah, I put people, you know, join Tekken more. Yeah. yeah. And then, so, uh, recently Namco announced the European Tekken tournament for the for Global Championship. Oh yeah, um, we're gonna do a European tournament. Uh, I haven't read this that much about it, but uh, I know we're going to do um, where I live, you know, in the north, mm -hmm. Vikings. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a Nordic Tekken tour. Uh, so, ah, yeah, yeah. Tekken so we're tour. actually going where I live in Sweden. They have like uh, six different tournaments with Tekken Seven FR. Mm -hmm. So it's really funny for the for the Swedish people, and uh, I may actually I'm going to visit uh, Namco Bandai, um, their Nordic offices. They are where I live in oh, Stockholm. Cool. So on Tuesday I'm going to go to them, Ooh. play some FR, yeah. and um, they called me. They would like me to. Uh, it's not uh, guaranteed, but maybe maybe uh, I'm gonna be the host for one of these tournaments. That's cool. So that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's, it's so fun to see that they're, uh, not really that they called me, that's cool, that's a bonus, but that they invest so much time now into uh, <laughs> the people who haven't really tried the game, it's you cool. know, yeah. In, uh, yeah. in the north. It's a cool way to get more people to take and see. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I am very happy that, uh, I mean, first I only heard about uh, our tournament, you know, in the north, but then I... Everyone else was in Italy, you know, in Germany, why don't we get to our <laughs> And then uh, one week later, they said, okay, a European tournament. Wow, you know, okay. so uh, I'm really happy to see that. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good way, you know. I used to like kind of very... We never, we never had the, this event so far in Tekken scene. No, no, Euro no, European we haven't. Tour, uh, American Tekken tour. I want to have like Asian tour. <laughs> oh, you haven't had an Asian tour. You don't have Asian tour. You don't. We don't have. Okay. So far, we have only American tour, and then now your turn, European, Europe tour. Oh, but but I guess uh, they they do it in that way because in uh, in the U.S. I don't think they have, do they have second seven arcades. They don't have. Ah, uh, they have arcade, but like only two places in. Whole <laughs> All of America going. I heard it's that, my turn now. <laughs> I heard it was in, it's in New York and California. I'm not sure. I'm oh my God. Two three. Those few arcades. Okay. All America. In whole, it's a big country. <laughs> 350 million people. Two machines. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Um, so, as I think, perhaps we get these tours because we don't have a game, and, and in Asia. Most countries have Tekken 7, I guess. Yeah. And then you have your tournaments like VSL. VSL, Tekken Strike, Tekken, Tekken. Who, who, who sponsors VSL then? Uh, Twitch. Twitch. That's Twitch? Yeah, it's called actually Twitch VSL. 
Okay. Yeah, because I I can tell like the production value is like really high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Advanced equipment, mm -hmm. like, you know, good turnout. Um, so yeah, I think the Nordic tour and the American tour is mostly um, letting people get a chance to play the game, That's like going true. from city to city. Uh, yeah, I'm really I'm lo looking forward to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, watching me. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Especially when you get you know console next year. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Going be, it's going to be so interesting. Yeah, and I, I don't know if it's as you said. You said that TTT two is the harder game to play. Oh, uh, it's e you. You said what did you say? You have two characters in TTT two. In Tekken yeah. seven, you have one character. Mm -hmm. So TTT two is less random. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you think Tekken 7 is a harder game for you to do well in? Uh, I think so. Because it's, now it's one on one again. So it's like one life on life. But Tekken Type 2 was like two lives for life. Yeah, yeah so exactly. It's better for, better for good for like better players because I have, I feel like I have time to read, I have time to download. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so when you play today in the tournament, did you feel like people did very stupid tackles? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, at the, so okay, we are in Dubai. How do you feel about Dubai? Ah, uh, Dubai. Uh, I think it's amazing, but uh, I haven't seen that much yet. I don't uh, think you probably you haven't seen yeah. that much either. You have been playing. You have been playing all day in a tournament. Yes, no, no, I, I mean, we've been thrown into a hotel room and then we get picked up and we play the whole day. Yeah. And then maybe one beer and then the hotel and then play the whole day again. But tomorrow we're going to see Dubai. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've spoken to all every player at the tournament, I think. Uh, talked a lot and uh, everyone is so nice. Yeah, everyone is so nice here. And yeah. they have a passion. Yeah, they care so much for the yeah. game. Yeah. So I'm. I'm very happy when I meet people that uh, like the game as much as I do, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, du Dubai seems uh, really nice. So did you enjoy tournament? Did you enjoy tournament? Yeah, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it. I mean, mostly because, as I said, because of the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, people. It's like I, I don't know what I, I told this. I'm going to get shit for this, but uh, I told this to some guy uh, earlier today that. When I go to a European tournament, yeah. I feel usually like yeah. most people are really nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you have a couple of people who are like very silent, like the, <laughs> and you, you can't really talk to them. But, but here in the Dubai and the, the people I met, it's like everyone is like super yeah, literally social. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. So it, it's like a party. Everyone yeah, mingles. Yeah, you know, I'm like everyone's crazy. Like yeah, crazy. Yeah. Look, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so so that really uh, helped me. Uh, I'm I'm quite an outgoing person. So when I when I meet people that give me energy, I, I'm I get very happy. And I think the tournament was handled well. I mean, these guys, they're alone, no sponsorship. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they yeah. have no experience. They're kind of in the beginning of our organized tournament. Yeah, so I yeah. think uh, they, they tell us that next year they might yeah. do this again. So. It's probably going to be like yeah, way, way yeah. better. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I, I told them, I thought everything was really good, but they should have had a guy with a microphone uh, talking to us, the audience, you know, and talking to the stream, uh, and perhaps, uh, yeah, the stream. <laughs> The stream layout. I don't like when <laughs> you see the game, you know, full, and then oh, you gaming in the bottom, and it's like, eh, come on, yeah, it, come on. It can yeah, look can way better, better than this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but a good tournament. So, well, how did you feel about the tournament? Yeah, me too. I really like it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was really, really cool, really kind to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have been taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> you can't complain. So. So you you have free time tomorrow. What what do you want to do? Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so I want to see that really big Dubai mall. Is it a Dubai mall? Yeah. Yeah, but you were there. I never been there. You were at a mall with infiltration. Uh, but not the Dubai mall, the big mall. <laughs> small mall. Oh, small mall. Okay. Uh, they tell me it's like it's super big and it has a waterfall. They have uh, like ski. <laughs> ski. <laughs> they told me they, there is a like you know ski in the mall. Oh yeah yeah like water yeah waterfall. Oh no, um 
uh, waterfall, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I know cliff, I know. Yeah, water. Yeah, <laughs> did, they, did they tell you that? They yeah, they told me that. Yeah, oh. so I'm like, uh, what? Uh, so, world? yeah, but they tell me it's like, uh, when you think big mall, yeah, if you take that and Ten times bigger. Wow, That's wow. Dubai Mall. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I want to see that, and I know uh, Mohammed OU Gaming, the organizer. Uh, he wants um, he wants us to go to go on a boat ride <laughs> at yeah. uh, at that tourist village. I think where we play the tournament. Um, so it's going to be very interesting, and uh, it would be nice to see that. Um, uh, I always they t they've told me a hundred times what the name is, but uh, Bes Khalifa. Bes Khalifa, like the building. The oh, okay, building. perfect. Yeah, Bes Khalifa. Yeah, eight hundred sure. meters. I'm not sure. Uh, I I'm think he's, yeah, that was right. Oh, okay. But eight hundred meters, so it would be nice to see. <laughs> but uh, I think there's a lot to do in Dubai. Is there anything special you want to do? Go to the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want to, maybe. <laughs> I don't have enough time, though. <laughs> yeah, they told me it's really cool to go on a camping trip to mm -hmm. the desert mm -hmm. over one night, but we, we can't do that. Cool, yeah. So perhaps next time? Perhaps next time. I, I know we said perhaps we're going to <laughs> invite perhaps. this guy. He's probably going to be invited. I'm the one they drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so anyway, <laughs> I already wanted to ask you that, do you know STL? You don't know STL? STL? Yeah. Yo, yeah. I've never seen his video. Really nice guy. So, yeah. so you are better or he's better? <laughs> oh, um, I, I met uh, STL. You met him? B both times I went really? to uh, Japan. Yeah, he was so kind to me. Uh, and he's also famous for his, you know, he's, crazy he's, combos he's really good with, uh, with combos. Uh, I think he's really good. Uh, the only thing um, I would do uh, if I were him is to learn to. Uh, I, I don't always did this, but. It's very important to uh, know uh, movie making and yeah. um, uh, editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good it's editing. Very important. Uh, yeah, uh, when he does his combo videos, amazing combos, but it's always very, very simple editing. He puts on ah, a techno yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, one combo, one combo, one yeah, combo, yeah, yeah. and that works I because like com combo is very. It's the most important. But yeah. I'm starting now to feel like you should have the best combos. But you should also have really good editing to make it a good movie experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's that's just nitpicking. He, he's really good. Uh, but if I would would compare him to me, I feel like what I do is uh, very. I would say mo I'm I'm very good at Mishima combos. <laughs> and it's the like. Um, he he he's very good at combos with all the characters. Oh, but yeah. I would say that. Um, Mishima, I, I would probably be the better combo maker. Mm -hmm. It sounds arrogant and narcissistic to say that, but... Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares, yeah. But, but uh, I, I do okay. Well, that sounds cool. Yeah. And it's like the Mishimas now can do uh, six uh, electric. Six electric. Yeah, and we had... Um, in Tekken Tag Tournament 1 and Tekken 3, on True Augur you could do 5 electric mm -hmm. with uh, Jin. Maybe Heihachi as well, I don't remember. And then in Tekken 4, electric, no launch. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tekken 5, Kazuya, 5 electric, Marduk, and bigger characters, yep. King. Mm -hmm. um, Tekken 6, 5 electrics. Devil Jin can also do 5 electrics in Tekken 6. Bigger ever give hitbox in for Devil Jin. In Tekken 6, do you remember? Electric. In Tekken 5, Devil Jin hitbox, it didn't hit in juggle low. Mm -hmm. But Tekken 6, Devil Jin can now do 5 electrics because his electric uh -huh. hits low in juggle. Big characters like Jack? No, all characters. All characters. Lin. Really? 5 electrics. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No bounce. Yeah, no bounce. Uh, but then now in uh, Tekken 7, we can do 6 electrics. Wow. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, stuff like that uh, I find <laughs> really funny, really good. <laughs> and Kazuya Rage Drive. Mm -hmm. You know, you do a free electric Rage Drive and so then jump. No screw? No screw and... Oh no, no, free electric, so electric uh, rage, drive, rage Drive and then jab, jab and then bam. Wow. Oh, I good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it is I should watch your video. Uh, f funny combos in uh, FR. Because uh, you have very funny rage drive. <laughs> it's like uh, really yeah. good rage drive, devil mode. Oh, really good. Wow, alright. 
So, uh, do you have uh, anything you want to mention about to your fans? Um, I'll mention. Uh, I mean, mo I, I stream a lot these days, and I play a lot of. Have you tried Dark Souls? Ah, uh, no. But I heard that game is really difficult. It's very difficult, yeah. but but it's a very good game, and the the story of a game is like, uh, it's so good, and they have no cutscenes. So you want to mention what Dark Souls? Oh uh, yeah, do hello, hello, <laughs> <that> Dark Souls. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I, I'm 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 going to try and have more Dark Souls videos on my uh, on my YouTube account. But uh, when when it comes to Tekken, um, I want to try and uh, with the release of Tekken Seven, perhaps as I'm probably now getting a contact at Namco Bandai, I'm going to try desperately to ask them. Per perhaps I could get a preview copy of a game that they send out to people who review the game. Yeah. Uh, so perhaps I could try and make uh, some good uh, tutorials and guides. Yeah, I I think you could try because you already made some uh, tutorial tutorial videos. Yeah. And then you have a lot of subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, so I'm like, it feels like I know uh, you know uh, Rip uh, Aris. Rip and Aris and Cole they made and Anakin they made you know, tutorial video tutorial book. Yeah, exactly, for mm -hmm. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 when yeah, that was released. Yeah. And I feel like I can do that, but better. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they have more knowledge than me, but I know editing. So ah, okay. I, think, uh, I think I could make some really good videos, and I think it would it will help the game. Mm, that uh, sounds cool. Because Tekken is that game where no one knows how to play it. Uh, so far, it's... yeah. So far, I agree with you that uh, it's hard to find information on the game. Yeah, exactly. On YouTube, on Twitch, yeah. And casual gamers who try to, they think, oh, it's about 10 hit combos. And yeah, they don't, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. see the spacing. But yeah. as we said earlier, everyone can see in Street Fighter what movement is and all that. But in Tekken, they, they are lost. So, uh, Virtua, I don't know if you've played Virtua Fighter. It's a really good fighting game mm -hmm. uh, published by Sega. AM2. Uh, it was really popular, right? Yeah, it was popular for a while. Uh, I think at the beginning, the, the end of the 90, uh, 1990s and the beginning of 2000 with Virtua Fighter 3 on the Sega Saturn was pretty big. Uh, but in Virtua Fighter 4, they had a really good and large tutorial section mm -hmm. where you could uh, learn everything, everything about the game in big detail. Mm -hmm. Uh, TTT2, you know that uh, labs, or I don't know what it was called, Tekken Lab or oh, something. Tekken Lab. Uh, yeah. Not that good. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, I just feel like uh, Tekken needs something like that, where mm. everything is explained. Like, if, if I would take a beginner uh, player and show him your gameplay, he would say, Oh, cool electric! <laughs> cool! Uh, good uh, Devil Gene Dominic too, but... He wouldn't understand why you are doing what yeah, you're doing, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't see your movement. He would only see, oh, he moves back, oh, he stepped, but there's much more to that. Mm -hmm. and yeah. you, what is a back dash cancel? What, what is a dash into a sidestep? Why did he sidestep to the left versus sure, Kazia? Sure. Yeah. Why did he step to the right versus uh, Bob or Lars? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. St stuff like that, I think. It would help people see, like, oh, okay, so that's Tekken. There, there is a lot to learn. Yeah, sure. Because uh, I think when I play with, uh, when I talk to casual people, they're like, oh, Street Fighter, it's so hard. Have you seen all the moves, all, uh, all that uh, special moves, super combo? And like, well, Tekken is very difficult. And they're like, no, it's not difficult. You, you hold forward to go forward. You hold back to guard. Uh, they think that's how you move in the game. And then you do a tenet combo, or you do a pull, super punch, and yeah, then like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's very, a lot of people think that's Tekken, and mm -hmm. to me, that it would be nice if we could change that for a bit. <laughs> okay. But uh, at the same time, I don't want to be arrogant and say that uh, Tekken is super hard. I have huge respect for Street Fighter. Uh, I used to not like it, but uh, I think it's uh, very, very fun to look at. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you, you know, because even I don't play a Street Fighter, but I watch all of, most of tournaments, Street Fighter tournament. Yeah. Because 
I have no one to talk about Street Fighter, but I can understand my, by myself just by watching videos. Oh, you like, do that? Yeah, just by like watching infiltration, oh, this mix up, this mix up, oh, this, this character is OP, you know? But Tekken oh. is different. Tekken is different. Since uh, every character has uh, more than 100 moves, literally, yeah. so people don't know uh, where to start, what to use, you know? So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so. But, but that, that's what I feel as well. Like, how, how is someone new to the game supposed to even start playing the game? Because you have, what, in TTT2, what, 50 characters? Yeah, 50, 50 characters. Yeah. And they all have 100 moves. And you're like, well, how do you learn this? Yeah, true. Like, it's like, uh, I, I used to play uh, Dora. Have you played Dora? No. Uh, it's like it's like uh, League of Legends. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know but the game. Do Dota harder. Yeah, yeah. Dota harder. Dota harder. Yeah. Uh, and that's a game where if you don't play every day for a lot of hours, you, you can't learn to play the game because there's so much. You know, all a hundred heroes, a hundred items, uh, one billion spells. You know, <laughs> no, I would never, I would never, never try the game. Yeah, exactly. But but I feel that Tekken is the same way. I tried to play Dota and Tekken, but you have to choose one. Because mm -hmm. they both take so much time if mm -hmm. you want to learn. Mm -hmm. um, so I just feel like Tekken, it's, a, it's such a big commitment for a casual gamer that I feel like Namco haven't done enough to uh, try and explain to people what, what makes a good Tekken player and uh, mm -hmm. what is defense, for example. Yeah. Uh, and Tekken Lab was very... it showed too little. It would have been so easy to include in TTT2 in uh, Tekken Lab, like a video, yeah, like with a video. Here, no, here, a video of you, for example. Here's yeah. a video of JDCR playing Nia at final round. Yeah. And then you fight, and when they stop the video, ah, and, and they're like, video. "Why? Why did he do that? Yeah, yeah, why yeah. is he yeah. over here ducking now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did he punish? Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's so simple to do. So I'm like, why didn't they do that? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, oh, yeah. if they did that, and then TTT2 sells one million copies, and let's say. Uh, a fourth of those 250,000 people are going to stream that. That's 250,000 people who are going to understand much more clearly what Tekken is. Mm -hmm. um, True. So, yeah, that, yeah, that's really important to me. Yes, it's kind of interesting that you want to make you know, guide, official guide book, official guide video. Huh? No, 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 I, I'm not saying. I don't have to make uh, anything official. I, I just want to I just want to get a chance to yeah, uh, yeah, to yeah. make yeah, uh, and to, to, to make a guide. Uh, I, I just feel like it it would help the game. And I I don't want money for this, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't want honor. I, I just would like more people to play the game. So when I go to a tournament like here in Dubai, more people come. Um, I just feel like. Uh, Tekken somehow is, uh, it's being all, it's not seen by as many people as it should be seen by. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the game really looks good now with Tekken 7, but uh, obviously something going is going wrong in the PR. Uh -huh, you because, think so? yeah, I think so, because most people just think, oh, Tekken, it's only tenant combos. Like Street Fighter, oh, much more difficult, <laughs> much better. But I just know it's not true. Uh, I don't want to say that Tekken is much harder than Street Fighter, but it's at least as hard as, as Street Fighter, you know. So uh, I don't want Tekken to uh, do the Virtua Fighter, you know. Virtua Fighter died. Yeah, it really died. That series doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't want to see Tekken, you know, Tekken 6, this many sailed copies, Tekken 7, Tekken 8, no more games, you know. I want Tekken to keep going. That sounds cool. But they, yeah, but uh, this is the end of a Mishima Sega. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> Not good. I hope they don't kill uh, Kazuya. Uh, no. Alright, so uh, thank you for sitting this interview. No, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very it's much. It's my I, honor. Yeah, I hope to see you on Twitch and YouTube. Like now, yeah. Thank you. Uh, you're not streaming. Why are you not streaming, Uh, I don't want to play. I can take two. <laughs> oh, that's why. No, it, it looks like so everybody want to watch Tekken Seven. Yeah, they do. So too. everybody's kind of bored, you know, with this this uh, Tekken Two. So. But can't you stream Tekken Seven? Aren't there a lot of Koreans who have their streams? Ah, uh, okay. 
they have uh, they are like kind of work at IK or they just land oh okay I s that way but maybe I could do that but you know I want to stream if I do then at home maybe oh, at home so uh, do you think there's a chance perhaps that when Tekken 7 is released that you start streaming again yeah of course it's, it's really fun to stream oh cool I'm looking forward to it okay, I will subscribe <laughs> thank you yeah uh, that, that would be really cool okay thank you so much no thank you here JD s h e r and Man Man in, in Dubai. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.